Welcome to this tutorial on InLab Camp Software 15. This video explains how to create jobs and control one or more mills with the InLab Camp Software 15. You can import a job which has already been created or create a completely new job. To do this, click on this button. You can assign a job name here and select the machine upon which the job is to be executed. In this example, InLab M65 is used. The job is created by clicking on OK. This overview contains all the work which is currently saved in the software. This can be filtered according to different timeframes, ranging from the last 24 hours up to several weeks. Specific restorations can be sought and selected with this filter. To produce various designs jointly, select these by clicking in the Selection field. Further jobs from other CAM softwares can be imported into this software via this selection field. Following the selection, the workpiece to be used is defined. In this overview, all the blanks are shown which are already saved in the system. Blanks which have already been machined are also listed. To create a new blank, click on this button. Firstly, select the manufacturer and the material name. The suggested production method is shown automatically. In case of materials which are available in different sizes, be sure to select the correct size. You can additionally assign a lot number and name for the blank. It is recommended to write the name manually on the blank so that this can be reassigned to the blank saved in the software. The enlargement factor can be entered here for both the XY axis and the Z axis. This data is entered according to the manufacturer's information. If only a single value was printed on the blank, this is entered for both axes. All the settings are confirmed by clicking on the check mark. The check mark in the selection field indicates that this blank has already been selected for the next job. The restorations are then arranged in the blank. Automatic positioning of the restorations was selected in the configurations. As such, work in this step is automatically placed and prepositioned in the blank. The elements can nevertheless be moved or turned as required. In doing so, both the horizontal and vertical position of the restorations in the workpiece can be viewed. The position and the heights of the workpiece can be adapted if so desired. An optimal inclination and angle are proposed by the software. The connectors are positioned in the next step. You are given a suggestion in line with the values which you predefined in the configurations. Connectors can be moved, deleted or added here. A precise production preview is shown in the next step. You can additionally determine the quality of the milling process on the outside of the restoration here. 
As this restoration includes a fully anatomical element, the extra fine production quality is recommended. A lesser quality can be selected for restorations which are to be veneered following the production. The legend can be viewed in the next step. This is always shown and can be saved or printed. Finally, the machine is selected and production starts. Whilst production is starting, a new job can be created in the same window by clicking on the orange arrow. In this case, another job is to be executed on InLab M6L. In this next step, only the restorations are shown, which can be machined with the InLab M6L. All jobs which are to be produced on the InLab M6V are inactive. Select the restoration to be machined. A workpiece is created again in the workpiece database. The desired material and size are selected according to the default settings. A lot number and name can be assigned here. In the next step, the crown is displayed already pre-positioned in the workpiece. The position of the connector can be adjusted by turning the crown in the block. The vertical position of the crown in the block can also be changed. You can also determine the production quality in the production preview. You can switch back and forward between the jobs in order to check the status of the respective job at any time. By clicking on the orange arrow you can, via the header, close, save or export individual jobs in order to complete them at a later date. Thank you very much for your attention. Enjoy working with the InLabCam software 15.